Um, so I'm going to post this on YouTube. Um, let me pin this. Pin comment. Um, so yeah. Hey y'all. So, um, I'm gonna post this whole live on YouTube and on my page. But I'm gonna talk to the people right now who have been attacked mentally. And, um, if the enemy has been causing confusion, making you think that your fasts aren't working, making you think that God can't hear your prayers, making you think that you won't be healed, making you think that uh, God didn't tell you that, or that maybe God didn't tell me this. I, this is for those people, okay? I was sitting outside and I was praying. And I had like an epiphany and I realized those are literally all illusions. So when you're praying, and I'm gonna show you and I'm about to demonstrate how to pray right now. Um, you pray. And you don't have to always speak in tongues when you're praying and you're and you're uh um speaking over your own life because your power your tongue has power of life and death, okay? So when you're praying it should go something like this. I curse every demon that I allow to enter into my life, my purpose and my destiny because of my disobedience. Because of the power of my tongue. For every demon that I call into my life and every demon that I've given the throne in my life, I curse you in Jesus' name. Let the God who answers by fire answer now. And with the authority that Jesus Christ has given me and the same authority and power in my tongue and my obedience in my God, I speak healing over my life. Satan, you can't have my mind. Satan, you can't have my soul. Every demon that lives within me, the demon of procrastination, the demon of confusion, the demon of self-sabotage, whatever your demons are, you name them. I'm going to explain something to you. These demons have to go in Jesus' name. And a lot of people don't know their... Um, a lot of people don't know their their power. But you have to understand that it's not up for a debate. These demons aren't going to leave because they choose to. They're going to leave because they have to. Because God made it to where these demons have to live in hell. And they cannot live in you. They cannot dwell in you. They don't have physical authority. And our God is the judge. Take them demons to court. You will leave out of my life and you will leave from my mind and you will leave from all of my relationships because God said so. Y'all getting it? You will leave and you will stop tormenting me. You will stop confusing me because God said so. It has to be that way. It is what it is. When you understand this, you will stop fighting demons with your carnal, with your physical body. And you'll understand that spiritually they have to go. Because when God died on the cross and he went into the grave, he did not come up after three days because God wanted him to come up in three days. It took him three days to come up because that's how long it took him to defeat Satan, meaning he defeated Satan and everything that comes with Satan, meaning he defeated that depression. He defeated those diseases. He defeated that procrastination. He defeated your self-doubt. He defeated your anger issues. He defeated your suicidal thoughts. God has, Jesus defeated these things already. And once you see Satan, I want you to understand that. You're not fighting against Satan. You're fighting against yourself. And, and Satan wants you to think that you're fighting against him. So that you continue to fight against yourself. Because Satan has no power or authority to touch your life. You see, Satan can't stop what God sends for you, but he can give you procrastination. Satan can't take money out of your bank account physically, but he can cause you to be irresponsible in how you spend your money. So you have to curse these demons in the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life because you already have the blood of Jesus over your life. Ask Holy Spirit for his oil. Ask him to fill you up so full that there is no rooms for dominion by demons in those areas of your life. 
God God gave me that revelation. These demons are not going to leave you alone because they're choosing to. They're not even going to leave you alone because you said so. They're going to leave you alone because God said so. That's the law. And these demons have been breaking the law because of your lack of obedience. Because of your disobedience, they have been giving some kind of right and authority to take over your life. But I want you to wake up and understand that they have no more authority. I want you to wake up and understand that because God says so, they have to go. Not believing in God is a sin that not even Satan will commit. Understand me. Not obeying God is a sin that not even Satan will commit. Understand me. For the people who are joining, these demons have to leave your life because God said so. That's just the law and that's just how it goes. Just like we have laws in the physical realm. Okay? You you, you go steal some money from the store, you're going to go to jail. Why? Because that's just the way that it is. That's the law. If you don't pay your taxes every year, you will go to prison and everything will be taken and stolen from you. Why? Because that's the law. God has his laws. And the law is without God's authority, without permission. See, these demons have been attacking you and they've been taking up spaces in your life because you've given them permission somewhere. I want you to reevaluate your life and I want you to look at where exactly did I give these demons permission to take over me? When exactly did I give these demons permission to ruin my life? When exactly did I give these permi give these demons permission to run my mind? What door did I open? I want you to think about that and then close it in Jesus' name and ask that the God who answers by fire seals it in Jesus' name. Ask that the God that answers by fire breaks the yokes in Jesus name. These demons have no dominion over you. It is an illusion. Satan has been taking you into circles and in circles and in circles. And you've been wondering why I keep repeating the same thing. And I, why do I keep repeating the same cycles? Because Satan has a Satan has had you in a delusion. It's false. You're not in prison. You're not in chains. The chains have broken. The moment that you chose for Holy Spirit to be your Lord and Savior, the moment you chose Christ is the moment that those chains broke. So right now you're sitting in a jail cell with the door wide open, afraid to leave because you think that you're trapped and you think that you're stuck. You're not stuck. It's an illusion. Satan doesn't want you to know that the doors are open, that the gates of heaven are open, because if you knew this, you would stand up and you'd act like who God made you to be. You would stand up and you'd act like yourself. We curse the spirit of pride in Jesus' name. Pride has no authority over you. Pride has no authority over your life, over your children's life, over your husband, over your wife, over your friends, over your mother. These demons have no business being here. I need you to understand. It's because God said so. And because you chose Jesus, now he gave you a piece of his authority. So now you have the authority that, so that it's because you said so. Because you said these demons have to leave your life. And because you said these demons will not stay. Because you said these demons have to leave you alone. And because you said these demons have to flee, they have to flee. Because you have power and dominion over them. It's just the way that it is. When you understand that it's just the way that it is, you stop doubting. You realize, yeah. My life has to change because God said so. My, 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 my mental health has to get better because God said so. It's just the way that it is. I can't change it. And luckily, I'm on the good side of history. Luckily, luckily for me, this benefits me. It may not benefit those demons in your life, but that's too bad. It's not about them. It's about you and your relationship with God. Because God said so, they have to go. Mm-hmm. Now you're getting it. Because God said so, they have to leave you alone. Because God said so, it's just the way that it is. That's a revelation for somebody. It's just the way that it is. Because God said I will be healed, then I will be healed. Because God said he'll heal my depression, he healed my depression. Because God said I will live and I shall not die, then I will live and I shall not die. Because God said that he will heal every sickness and ailment and physical ailment in my body. That's just the way that it is. That's just the way that it is. That's just the way that it is. Understand. It's just the way that it is.
-hmm. Because God said it. I need you to remove these things. Uh, Curse the spirit of idolatry. Everything that you have made an idol and put over God. I curse you in Jesus name. I curse and I'll say this for myself. I curse every demon that I put in your position Holy Spirit. Every For everything in my life that I have made king. I kick you out of the throne in Jesus' name. And I put the king of Judah. I put Jesus as king. And I put the king back in his throne, back in his rightful position. I put, I make God my king. I make Jesus my king. I, I want to make Jesus my king again. I want to make Jesus the ruler of my life again. I want to make Jesus the driver of this car of my life again. I don't want to be confused. I don't want to run in circles. I don't want to drive in circles. I make Jesus my king again. Mm-hmm. Make Jesus your king again. Take everything that you had in that spot out of that spot. Put Jesus back in his throne. Because God is a jealous God and you have made him jealous. You have made him jealous by putting pornography, music, lust, weed, alcohol, movies and TV and music above him. That relationship, your friends and your job and money above him. Give Jesus his seat back. And watch how your life changes. You have the power to speak to things in Africa. You have the power to break chains off of people in Europe and Australia. Why? Because this 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 world is our God's world. See, understand that the world belongs to God, the creator. Everything within this world is the creation. This is my God's land. This is my God's this is my God's grass. This is my God's trees. This is my God's domain. My God will reign on this earth. I have the power to speak to demons across the world. I have the power to heal people and deliver people across the world. Why? Because this whole world is God's world. God says the whole world is mine. The whole world is God's world. That's why you have the power. Understand that. Understand that you have the power to say, I break the yokes and the chains of the enemy off. Of the children in Africa. Of the people in Russia. You can speak to Russia and make mountains move. Because these are God's mountains. You can speak to Africa and make trees move. Because this is those are God's trees. You can go to Europe. And make waters rush because those are God's waters. And you are God's child. And he has given you a piece of authority. You see, the difference between us, which is his creation, and the trees, which is also his creation, is that God put a piece of his authority inside of us. You see, me, you, the trees, the sky, the water, the birds, the leaves, the flowers are all God's creation. The stars are all God's creation. But the only creation that he put a piece of his authority in was his people. So walk in it and stand in it. And you say, I'm not going to get off my post. And I'm not going to stop beating on the gates of heaven until I get what I'm right. So right what I so rightfully deserve. I'm not going to stop beating on the gates of heaven until God blesses me how he promised to bless me in Jesus name. Understand your authority. You have the power to kick these demons out of your house. This is your house, your home, your home as in your spirit, your, your body, your, your spiritual body home, your mental home. You have the authority. This is your house. You're going to let the you're going to let Satan take the keys. Satan does not have the keys. That's what I want you all to understand. Satan don't have the keys to this house. You have the keys to this house. Your Bible, your word is the key. <laughs> your Bible, your word is the sword. Your Bible, your word is what saves you. I was depressed today. I went outside and I went for a walk and I said, you know what? I choose me. You know what? I choose not to be depressed today. You know what? I choose not to be sad today. You know what? I choose to get up and, I, and, and walk today. I choose. Because I have authority. That mountain is going to move because I spoke to it and I told it to move. That depression had to go because I spoke to it and I told it that it had to go. And you want to know something? You want to know what I told depression today? I said, depression, as for the demon of depression, I'm not going to speak to you again. Because I damned you and I cursed you in Jesus' name and I meant what I said the first time. That's your authority. That's your authority. I cursed you already. I defeated you already. 
And if I defeated you, I don't have to defeat you again. I know my strength and I know my power. And I know that Holy Spirit gave me authority. I know that Holy Spirit gave me power. And I know that Holy Spirit made me strong. But that does not mean I have to keep proving my strength. Just because Holy Spirit gave me strength does not mean I have to keep proving how strong I am. I'm not going to keep repeating myself to demons. I said what I said the first time. I spoke what I spoke the first time. God said, let there be light. God said, let there be light once, and there's been light every day for the rest of our lives, and it will be when we die. Why? Because he knows his authority. He knows his authority. I'm not going to repeat myself to demons. I'm tired of repeating myself to demons. I said that I am free. I said that I am abundant. And I said that I... I said that I'm abundant. And I said that I have peace. I meant what I said the first time understand your authority we speak against the spirit of confusion in jesus name and double-mindedness in jesus name understand that your flesh is an enmity against god i learned that from tiffany prophetess tiffany montgomery your flesh is an enmity against god meaning your flesh thinks that it's god so you wonder why when you're fasting sometimes and you wonder why and you want to do the right thing. You had you 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 don't even like baked beans, but as soon as it's time to fast, now you want baked beans. You don't even you're not even lustful, but as soon as you want to be celibate and you make the choice to wait until marriage, you've been the most lustful you ever been because your flesh has a mission to prove that it's better than God. We're born into sin. But understand your authority. You don't have to let your your flesh win. The, your flesh is like a child. Put your put put your child in its place. Understand your authority. So I just wanted to come up here and I wanted to give you guys this word. Understand your authority because God gave it to you. Mm -hmm. Understand your authority because God gave it to you. Period. Use your free will for good. Use your free will to do right things. Use your free will to be obedient to God. Use your free will for good things. Because free will is free will, but when you're disobedient, there's a cost. You can have free will. You can do whatever you want to do. God gifted you that. That's your due. It is what it is. But when you're disobedient, using your free will, when you use your free will for disobedience, there is a cost. You want to pay that cost? When Jesus already paid the cost for you? Be obedient. And stand in your authority. That was my lie for the day. I hope this helped somebody and I hope this broke chains off of somebody. I want you guys to take this word, take it to God and know if it was for you. But if it's for you, you'll know it's for you because it's confirmation. But at the end of the day, I'm just an IJ. You don't got to listen to a thing I say. Educate so that we don't generate more lost generations. Love and light, y'all. Peace.